Oh, hello! Welcome back to my Chanel. So I took myself shopping the other day because I was feeling down and shopping is one of the best ways for me to cheer myself up. So I wanted to show you what I got. This is gonna be a mini haul across several different stores, Forever 21, Spencer's, Ross Dress for Less because I was just in Texas. And of course, why miss out on a chance to shop while I'm traveling? This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes. They have everything from animation, fine art, lifestyle and productivity, to business analytics. Skillshare is made specifically for learning, which means there are no ads, which is awesome. And they're always launching new premium classes, so you'll never have a shortage of content. So one class that I've been loving lately is a class called Self-Care Through Creativity, Turn Your Anxiety Into Art. And this is taught by Sarah Beth Morgan, who is a freelance motion designer and artist. I just love how personal she got when talking about anxiety and mental health, and then she encouraged her students to use a medium they were already comfortable with. Because I always feel pressure to create and then put whatever I make online or post it, so I love that she encouraged making art and being creative to de-stress and not have to worry about posting it. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And this gives you instant access to all of the classes on Skillshare. So without further ado, let's dive in. <laughs> let's dive in. <laughs> so without further ado, let's dive into this video. So first I'm gonna show you everything I got from Forever 21. I love Forever 21, especially for black basics. And that is pretty much what I got when I went there. Now I did do all of my shopping for this video in store, so I'm not sure if have these online but this is the first shirt that I got it's a really stretchy more athletic cut I think that's the right term for this with the straps that kind of come in closer to your neck I don't have many shirts in this style but the few that I do I really like how it looks for some reason I think it just flatters my shoulders really nicely and of course it's black so it goes with everything but I just love the structure of this top it's really stretchy it's a nice dark black and I got this in a size medium it's hard to see I'll try to show it on camera but the fabric isn't you know smooth and one piece I think this is what you would call ribbed fabric, but I really like it. I think it adds to the whole aesthetic of the top. There are no buttons, snaps, or closures anywhere on this. You just pull it on and you're ready to go. But it's a really cute, simple top. Goes with everything and I really liked it. I don't have enough plain black tops, so of course had to grab this one. And then the other shirt I got at Forever 21 is this kind of cropped t-shirt, I guess you could say. I think this is actually meant to be worn underneath clothing as kind of a layering piece. It's very, very stretchy. It's made out of what feels like just black spandex, except it's not shiny at all. It's very matte. And if I remember correctly, I think this was billed as being seamless, which is weird because there are a lot of seams on it. But this is made out of material that I would associate with like undergarments, biker shorts. So very, very stretchy and elastic, but I just love the fit of it. Honestly, I probably could have sized up. This is a medium, but the shoulders, if I don't pull them out tight, they kind of settle here, which looks a little weird, but they didn't have a large and I really like this top, so I just got the medium. And now this is one of those tops that is business in the front and party in the back, which was one of the main reasons I got it. I love this back cutout. I think it is so sexy. Now this does make wearing a bra a little difficult, <laughs> but I think it is possible to wear this without a bra if you have itty bitties like I do. Or you could always wear one of those sticky bras that only attaches in the front and doesn't have a back to it, but I think this would also work as a layering piece. You could put another shirt on top of it, maybe a bralette, but I just loved how comfortable and stretchy it was. It was very flattering on me and I just love the back. Definitely one of my favorite parts about this shirt. <laughs> So those are the two things I got at Forever 21. Next, I took myself to Spencer's, which is one of my favorite places for jewelry specifically. Now I know these are probably made specifically for someone who has gauged ears or stretched ears, but I love them so much I had to grab them for myself. These are just so cool. I'm always in search of big silver statement earrings, and I mean, it doesn't get bigger than this, unless you want your ear to fall off. But I just love this skull design. It is so cool. It has a brushed stainless steel texture to it. I'm not actually sure if it's stainless steel, but I did find out the hard way that if you scrub it too much, it will take the finish off. So I scrubbed it right here. As you can see, it's a little coppery and orange. So be careful when you're cleaning these. These have snap closures and they're very sturdy. It's hard to get them open sometimes, but that means they're secure and they won't fall out of your ears. And I just love the overall design of these skulls. They're not too heavy either, which is what I was a little worried about. And I think they are badass. 
I love them. When I was checking out at the store, the guy who was checking me out, in more ways than one, was saying that these reminded him of Punisher, and he's not wrong. So next I got another pair of earrings from Spencer's. I love all black jewelry, and for some reason it's hard for me to find all black jewelry that is spooky. So the minute I saw these little bats, I had to grab them. I love bats, they're one of my favorite animals, and I just really love the design of these. Again, these are probably meant for someone with stretched or gauged ears, but I don't care. I love them and I'm gonna wear them. I've already worn the heck out of these. I've been wearing them pretty much since the day I got them. <laughs> but they have a black wire which goes into your ear and they open by you pressing on them and lifting up. So there's a little loop that it goes into. And then it has a black bat charm which is perfect. I love this design. It is shiny. The little bat is so cute. I love them so much. They go with everything. And then last but not least for my Spencer's purchases, I saw this little pentagram neck chain and there weren't any mirrors in the store and I obviously couldn't try it on so I kind of like was trying to hold it up and see if it would look good on me. And it's fine but when I got home I immediately wished that there were more pentagrams. So. I went back and I got a second necklace and I am planning on taking all the pentagrams from that one and putting it on this so it is completely lined with pentagram from one end to the other. But the necklace itself is really cute. It is adjustable so you can wear it as a choker type necklace or as something more relaxed. But I love the little silver pentagrams. They are upside down and it's a nice lightweight necklace. And I was picturing this to use as a layering piece with my necklaces. I feel like I don't have enough necklaces that I could use for layering. Usually I have either, you know, really simple stuff or completely big statement pieces. So this is kind of in between where I can wear it with a choker and a bigger necklace and it'll look good. So that's why I got this little guy. So I'm excited to alter that. And then for my last place that I went was Ross Dress for Less in Texas. I really wanted to go to Ross because I've gone to Texas before and I've shopped there and I found a surprising amount of things that I really liked and that could be considered alternative. Like I actually have, just happens to be lying here, I have this, uh, what is it called? I have this fishnet wrap. It's kind of like a beach cover up. Hmm, hello. But I actually got this at Ross Dress for Less as well. So I was really surprised by all the stuff that they have here, especially all of the bralettes now that it's summer. So I got two of their bralettes and I am absolutely intending on wearing these as tops. And I've actually worn this black one out and about in public already. I love the design. I do wish they had more sizes because this one is a little big on me, but I still think it looks amazing. And this is really, really comfortable. This is the brand Bozzolo and I got this in a medium. Probably should have gotten a small, but I couldn't find one on the racks. So this is all beautiful black scalloped lace and I love that it comes down into a V in the front. This has lines going down similar to a corset and the cups are padded so you can't see your nips <laughs> And this also has some elastic lines going down the front. I love that look I think it's so sexy and I actually really love the back too The back is completely see-through just the lace, but I love that scalloped pattern. It's so gorgeous So love this top had to grab it and then last but not least we have some color. Are we shocked? I was shocked <laughs> I always tell myself that I don't have enough red clothing. So this next top is red Red. It is so pretty. I love this color of red. And this is another bralette, obviously, but I'm gonna wear it as a top because I can. This is also beautiful lace and mesh. This has more of a flowery print to it, though. And the only thing I don't like about this one is that I wish that this space in between the two cups was filled because I feel like it looks kind of awkward just having that little piece of see-through, you know, mesh right in the middle. I wish they were closer together so you couldn't see straight through, but... Uh, Oh well. This is by the same brand Bazolo, and this is in a small, so this fits me perfectly. These straps are adjustable. It has that beautiful lace in the back with all the flower patterns on it. This also has a very corset-like design with the lines running down the front. This has no boning in it whatsoever, though. This is all just soft and stretchy. And this also has the cups, which are lined, so you can't see through those. But it's very comfortable. I think it's gorgeous, and I absolutely love it. So that is it for my little shopping spree. I hope you enjoyed. As happy as I am that it's summer now, I find myself wishing that it was fall. We had a heat wave here in New York for a while and it was awful. It was just so disgustingly hot. And then this past week it's actually been nice and cool, it's been raining, and I found myself curling up in my bed reading a book and just kind of wishing I could go out and see all the beautiful leaves and feel that crisp chill in the air. So not to rush anything, but I am missing fall. I've also heard that there are some Halloween decor items popping up at the store at home, and unfortunately I don't have my car right now. It's in the process of being fixed, but as soon as I do, I will absolutely be going back and doing some Halloween decor shopping vlogs and taking you guys with me. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!